you can see, this is not Nancy. No, no. <laughs> and there's no Nancy surprise bag either. <laughs> no. But we do have a surprise, but you have to just wait a little while and we will get there. So anyway, this is my friend, Beth Seal of Summerhouse Stitchworks. And she is in town to do, well, not really in town, but she's in, uh, in a nearby town to do a class for House of Stitches in LaPorte, Indiana. And I'm like, hey, what airport are you flying into? Because Midway Airport is right here. And, and that's probably one of the closer airports to fly into to go to um, LaPorte, Indiana. Yeah. So yeah. we just kind of arranged it, and here she is. And, and here I am. And she's in town to do, um, well, actually, we coordinated it because she will be releasing her, she's second in the series of the French Kitchen, so we'll talk about that a little bit later, but we just thought it would be fun. Nancy just left the shop, and not that we don't want her in here, but she was hungry <laughs> and wanted to get home. It's dinner time. Yeah, she worked, she worked the shop all day, so I thought, well, we'll have a special guest mm -hmm. on today, and then we'll follow up. Probably Great. at the end of this video, Nancy did another clearance palooza, so um, I'll probably attach that at the end of this video. So, okay. how did we meet? Well, how, yeah, that's the, we're <laughs> trying to think, okay, well, what do we want to talk about? And we were looking around um, the shop here and just trying to find some of the, the models that Kathy has. Yeah. Well, the very first Summer House Stitchworks model that she has is Autumn Garden. And this is actually how we met um, back in 2011. Right, yeah. My very, you signed it on the back. Yes, I did. I, I, I signed to Kathy. Thank you. Beth Seal, Summerhouse Stitchworks, August 14th, 2011, Baltimore Fall Market. So That um, was your first market. That was my very first wholesale market that I did. And um, we had a thing then that we would kind of raffle off a model that we yeah, were all releasing. the designers did. Yes, think yeah, there were a lot of designers that did that. So, um, so this was the one that I I did was Autumn Garden, and there's actually four in this garden series. Oh, obviously, if there's Autumn Garden, there's Winter Garden, and Spring Garden, and Summer Garden, right. um, and they're all getting to be you know kind of older and now when I look at them I can say oh wow how far my design has come since 2011. <laughs> well Beth um, had um I had applied not applied or whatever entered my name in the drawing and throughout the whole weekend because market is starts like Friday night and then you mm -hmm. go Saturday and Sunday and I kept popping my head and every time I would pass by Beth's room I kept popping my head and so how's my uh, model doing? I'm gonna yeah, win it at the end of the thing. It. Yes, and I kept saying I was gonna win it, and I and did. You did. Yeah, you did. it was you awesome. Did. So she was very surprised, yes. and yes, because I never win anything. So. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so you won that, and that's kind of the start of our friendship. Yeah. So. So then I remembered you the following year. Exactly. And I don't know. Maybe we went to dinner or something. I don't really. I don't remember. remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Remember. But this was another. This is simple abundance. Yes. Yeah. So this is another fall inspired design. And if you know anything about me, you know that my favorite season is fall. Um, and just because you know the colors are so vibrant and. Yeah. Um, you know, being from central Pennsylvania and a hill and mountain region. We just, it, you know, the rolling hills are so beautiful. Yes, and I, they are. I, I told Kathy that my drive from my house to my mom's house in State College, um, just, uh, it was beautiful yesterday. It was just absolutely yeah. gorgeous. With, with the leaves changing. With all the leaves changing. And I'm hoping that it doesn't rain until I get back on Monday because I hope my drive back home on Monday is, is even better. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. And then lastly here. Oh, well, I guess more. it's not lastly. Yeah. But the next one up is this is from the first series of Fragments in Time. And this is STU. And I could not tell you what the number is. I don't remember. 2000. Uh, it would have been from 2015 because the very first um, series of fragments in time that I did I did them over t two years so it was 2014 2015 and it was okay. too long so that's why I do all eight in one year now oh, okay um it was too long for people to wait which yeah I agree so um so this was like number number seven maybe yeah it was near I mean, the end yeah 
And it was yeah. our favorite with the bird on it. Yeah, yeah, it's a fun one. And um, your finisher did a really nice job. I love this color of cotton yeah. that they chose because it just really sets it really up. sets off the colors. Yeah, yeah. So that is that one. And um, then calico. Yes. And another one, and I don't know if Kathy has shown you this before or not. I have in my early videos. Okay, okay. But this, um, her, her little shop sign comes from my Calico Sampler series. And this was a series that I did back in 2012. And there's nine charts all together. Uh, there are three letters to each chart. And then the last one... Um, is just Y and Z. Right. Mm -hmm. But I love how Kathy just um, took the alphabet and instead of just stitching it up as the alphabet, she it, took it and made the shop name. And so that's just really fun. Hello, we have a visitor. We so do we're have a visitor. Pause so we're right going now. to pause for just a little bit. And we're back. And we're Sorry. Back. Sorry for the interruption. So since <laughs> we do not remember what we were talking about <laughs> when we when we ended, I'm just going to go into something else. We had a very nice customer stop by yes. the meet Beth. She yes. knew she was here for the yes. for so, the reveal. And and it was it was a, a lot of fun. So, you know, we're not even going to, to rewind. We're just going to move <laughs> forward. So next um, we're going to talk about needles dance. And this was a collaboration that I did with Ink Circles and Hands-On Design. And um, it came out this, well... Right after market. Right after market. Because we took a class, yes. shop owners. Certain shop owners were able to take a class at market. Yes, yes. And then, the, so they were the ones who had exclusive rights to be able to... Are you guys going to release this to everybody? Yes, this, I, think, this, I think so. This year? Okay. Yeah, I think so. So uh, this was just a really, really fun design. I can say that it is a true collaboration between all three of us. Um, we really had a fun time. Maybe not everybody knows who was part of Neil's dance. Oh, I already said that. Did you? I did. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm sorry. We've been going. Me and Beth have been together almost 12 hours now. Yes, yes, yes. We're I picked fun. her up real early. She was up way early before yeah. me and to get oh, on the plane. 3.15. Oh, my gosh. Poor thing. So, she needs some sleep. Yeah. And I'm the one who doesn't remember stuff. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this was a fun, fun project. And... Um, and you've probably seen maybe Kathy's floss tubes about it or whatever. But the three of us, we live in three different areas of the country. And so um, getting together is always a challenge to to figure out, okay, it, it's almost like a, a who's on first. Right. You know, oh, it's it's 12 o'clock my time, 1 o'clock your time, and 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Yeah. Tracy's time. So, you know, we... we um, but we have a really good time working together, and they're really great gals to collaborate with. So it's beautiful. I, had, yes. I stitched that one personally, yeah, and yeah. I liked it it's, a lot. It's really fun. So um, if you're interested, um, Kathy here at Inspired Needle has yeah. the, a club going. So give her a call and get signed up because it's a really fun piece. And speaking of clubs... Yes, the main reason why she's here. The main reason why, why I'm here is to do the reveal of the next French Kitchen installment. And before we do that, because, you know, we have to really drag out a yeah. reveal <laughs> to the very, very end. Yep. I'm going to talk about an inspiration piece. Yeah. So hard. this was kind of our inspiration piece for finishing for the French Kitchen. And... I found this at an antique shop in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. I, I even remember where I bought it. Okay. Um, and I just loved the wood. I mean, it, you know, I'll hold it up there a little bit closer. See all the scratches. This, yeah, there's all scratches. All the history in there. And, you know, whether it was used for a cheese board or, or bread or, or what, I don't know what it was used for. But um, when I bought it, somebody had tried to be creative and repurpose it. And they put on this little clip and had a notepad stuck in it and a little piece of jute for hanging it on the wall. And that sounds like it's a good idea, but execution just wasn't quite right. 
because this clip is just way too thick. I don't know if yeah. you can see that or not. It's too rounded. It would have been okay if it yeah, was flat it, on the back. Yeah, but it's it's just too rounded. And so, you know, the notepad flung up in the air. <laughs> and, but I kept thinking, ah, oh, what a great piece yeah, for, yeah. for finishing needlework. And um, so, but it got put away because, you know, it was one of those things where, yeah, someday, and I put it in the closet. And then when Kathy and I started to talk about French Kitchen and, and roll over some of the ideas that we had, I thought of this board. And I said, Kathy, I've got the perfect board for it. Pulled this out and, um, and she talked with, say the name because I never get it right. Com Com oh, Cabern Mary. Cabern Mary. Um, Woods. They're the wood. They're the yeah. board maker, the clipboard maker. Yeah. So they reproduced it then for us. Um, and of course, it's not exactly the same. Um, it's not quite as thick or anything as this, but um, it's a really nice. Piece. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. It really is a nice piece. So at some point, I'm going to take this off and and re purpose it for something else. <laughs> but it was, it's fun to have the original. Yeah. So you can see where the ideas come from. So, okay. Is everybody ready for the big reveal? So, as you know, this is Kathy's. And, and that's this the is Apples and Sage. And that's apples the first and one. Apples and Sage. And this was the first installment of the French Kitchen. And voila. Voila. Here we go. This is pear and rosemary. I love it. And I'll pull it back a little bit so you can see the full effect. Um, but yeah, it's, I really love this piece. Um, you know, sometimes whenever you're designing something and this one just felt really good designing it and mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun to stitch it. I actually stitched the whole thing. I, I didn't have somebody else stitch it for me. Um, and it was one of those things it's like, oh, I know I need to get this done, but I don't want it to finish it because then I'm not going to be able to stitch it anymore. So it was kind of this, uh, but you know, it got finished. And, um, and then I finished it off with a, a little bow. This is actually a fabric bow. Um, I tried a bunch of different ribbons and I, I mean, I tried a bunch of different ribbons. <laughs> I had them spread out all over the dining room table, all over the kitchen island, and nothing was working. And surprisingly enough, I had this fabric lying on the dining room table because um, I'm going to be using it for another project. And uh, that's the perfect color. So, yep. so that was it. So yeah, really, really loving it. And I hope you guys love it too. And I will just hold them both up here together so you can yeah, kind of see. Yeah, um, because there are a few people that are doing it all on one piece of fabric right. all the way across. And you can actually connect the, um, um, the borders will connect at the bottom if you mm -hmm. did want to stitch them all together and not switch them out every season on the board. So yeah, that is the newest French kitchen. And, and we is, are waiting on fabric yet to come in. We have mm -hmm. everything else. We have our threads. Everything's ready to go. So as soon as the fabric comes in, we're going to cut it up real fast and get your kits out to everybody who's on our club. Get it sent out. Yep. So now we need to get back to the drawing board and figure out the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Should I tell them about the rumor? Oh, yes. Yes. Go ahead. There was Someone asked me the other night about... Well, number five is going to be dessert, right? And I'm like, there is no number five. It's four seasons. That's it. So I don't know where that rumor got started, but there is no number there five. There is no number five. The fifth thing is going to be a class, and we don't know what that is yet because we haven't designed it yet. <laughs> uh, uh, but I don't know. Maybe we'll throw some dessert, you know, a little, little whipped cream on the top Maybe or something. it was like a suggestion yeah, of maybe, where to go. Maybe yeah. it was. Maybe it was a suggestion. So, so I thought that was so funny. I'm like, really? Where'd you hear this? They didn't tell me about it. <laughs> so. so okay. Well, that's it. We did that's... really well. Thanks for uh, joining us in this little impromptu floss tube. I yeah. thought well since Beth was here I, we might as well take advantage of it. Yeah get it, was, here. it was fun being here. Yeah. So um, maybe I'll get back to doing more floss tubes. Yeah you better. Maybe. I'll, I'll try. I'll try my She'll best. Try and then, <laughs> so join us next time. Like I said, I'll put Nancy's uh, clearance palooza at the back of this mm -hmm. video. And then join us next week. We'll have our regularly scheduled 
Uh, plus two, with, and Nancy will be back in this yeah. state over here. Yeah, and you'll need to find out what the surprises are in the bag. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> oh, the what's in the bag, is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, the what's in the bag, is that, I forgot what she yeah, called she it. Yeah, she does the what's in the bag. What's in yeah, the bag. that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so until next time, may your needle be inspired. Oh, that was and, yeah. oh, and happy stitching. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> Bye, Floss Tube. Hi Floss Tube, it's Nancy from Inspire Needle. I'm in my new recording studio. I'm just kidding. It's my office slash junk room slash stash room. Um, coming to you with a, another video, a clearance palooza number three, I believe it is. And um, just got some little props to make. The table look a little better than it is. So now you're seeing my favorite warm blanket for the winter time. And my upside down cubs emblem. Because that's the kind of season they had this year. Upside down. Anyway, let's get to the business at hand. The reason why you're here. I have 22-ish, 24 charts that will be on sale for, um, I'll make them 35% off. They'll be posted on the website, uh, and it's www.inspireneedle.com. And if you are on the home page, scroll down the left side until you see a word that says specials. And click on that, and that'll take you to everything that's currently on sale. Uh, take your time, scroll through that, and you might find a lot of gems there. So let's get started. Number one is from Julia and Frandini GPA House in the Wood Sampler. Julia Puntini and Tici GPA. That's what that stands for. House in the Wood Sampler. Okay, next up is from Milady's Needle. This is called Folk Art Sampler. If I kick back a little bit and get you a full shot of that. There you go, Folk Art Sampler. have a couple of those. Next up is the ladies needle needlework memories back a little bit and get you a full shot and I'll come in closer so you can actually see what that looks like needlework memories I have several of these as well Next up, from Milady's Needle again, this one's called Queen Anne's Pin Chest and Needle Book. Back a little bit and you can see everything. And i get you a close-up of the chart. It's very pretty. Queen Anne's Pin Chest and Needle Book from Milady's Needle. Next up, from Little House Needleworks, this is called Something Old, Something New. And let me read you what the caption says here. It says it's a collection of past complementary charts and two new designs. Okay. Next up is from Turquoise Graphics and Designs. This one's called Arabesque. Kind of reminds me of one or two charts that I've done, one that I've done. 
I could never remember the name of that designer either. Also reminds me of ink circles. Okay, arabesque. Next is again from Turquoise Graphics and Designs. This one's called Emperor's Jewel. From Turquoise Graphics and Designs. This one's called Father. Then we have Hopeless Love. And then, not to be outdone by father, we have mother. Again, the turquoise graphics and designs. And I do believe I have one more from them. This one is called Venetian Lagoon. That one's kind of nice. Kind of up my alley. Alright, now we move on to Black Branch Needle Art and Lockhart 1842. It's a beautiful sampler. Next is from Trenner Needleworks. This is called Western Reserve in the Springtime. See if I can get this just a little bit closer for you. So you can see. Trenner Needleworks. Have a couple of those. And now finish it off with a few items from Rosewood Manor. Good old Karen Kluba. Wonderful designer. This one is called Flowers in the Crannied Wall. And all the rest of these, uh, not all of them. The majority of them <coughs> excuse me, are um, Oh, yeah, I'll figure it out here in a minute. They're banners. That's what I'm trying to say. And this one comes with a couple charms and then your belt pull. I can turn that around and show you that belt pull. Okay. Flowers in the Cranny Wall. That's what that one was called. Next we have Grape Harvest. Grape Harvest from Karen Kluba. That's pretty. Any wine drinkers out there? Get you a little close up. This one comes with a charm. Let's see what that looks like. Hard to tell. Without taking it out of the package, I want to rattle, make all that noise. There you go. Up next is Hearts and Flowers. Again, this one comes with the charm and a bell pull. 
Sorry for the glare on that picture. Hearts and flowers. And there's your bell pull and your charms. Alrighty. Up next is Lily's Rosewood Manor Karen Kluba. Charm. And I'm going to give you a shot of the bell pull. Looks like it's six inch rod. So that one was Lily's. Next up we have Oriental Garden. Let me get a better, a better one here. This one here. One has the charm. And if you give me just one minute, I want to check this something out. Because I see. Yes, okay, there we go. So this one here just includes the charm. And then I have one that is the charm. And the belt pull for Oriental Garden. So these will be listed individually on the clearance page on the website. Okay. And next up is called Strawberries All Around. Getting down to the end almost. Stars in the Pines. And that brings us to our, oh no, sorry, it's not our last one. I did get them out of alphabetical order. That's okay. Sailing Ships Sampler. That one's really pretty cool. I like that. Henry Christopher Sandwich. I'm sure there's a story inside of the chart about all these initials. Guess you'd have to open it up and see. I'm sure she tells a story. She normally does. Now we're at the last one. This one is called Ye Old Sampler Bag. These two charms here, get my big finger out of the way, are included. Said it says one's a clasp. Let me get you a shot of that. That's very pretty. You don't have to make it into a, a bag. You could frame it. Let's see if we turn in a different direction. 
I don't see why it couldn't be framed. Or made into a pillow. That's just up to you and your imagination. So. Alright. Well, that ends our Clarice Palooza number three. So, if you are interested in any of these, uh, once again, the website is inspirednedle.com. And from the home page, just scroll down on the left column till you see specials. And click there and you'll see all of these items and more. And once again, these items are going to be listed for 35% off. And um, you'll see others there if you're interested. They're all anywhere between 30 tomorrow, actually 25 and um, a couple of them are still 50% off because they were had some damage from a water leak. So um, go to the website, peruse the specials, and um, pick out whatever interests you. We appreciate those of you that come to the website and look at our clearance items. Um, there's n never anything wrong with the chart that's, um, has a few years on it. It's, uh, just considered an oldie, but a goodie. So it's whatever interests you. It doesn't really matter what, when it was designed, what year it came out. Um, if it's your style and you like it, hey, it's even better. All right, folks, um, I'm going to be recording clearance videos, I hope, a little bit more frequently. Uh, they'll be coming to you from my lovely studio. And maybe I'll try to get some better props and uh, or try a different location. And um, but anyway, you expect to see these in a more timely fashion. So thanks for coming by, and I'll see you next time. Bye.